Okay, we're heading out on a 10 mile round trip hike to the Confluence Lookout and it's where the Colorado River and the Green River meet. So we'll see you at the end. We really have to pay attention to the ferns. Ferns, ferns, whatever. Oh, it's beautiful up here. We haven't gone very far. <laughs> There's the parking lot. But, wow. It's beautiful though. Super cool. Down down the canyon, back up the canyon. And it looks like we go through this hole right up here. Wow, totally awesome. Wow. This is beautiful. We definitely have to follow the, the cairns on the trail so you don't get lost. A little ladder going up. trail marker way up the top. Here's the little trail markers you gotta fall, follow. Carns, cairns, I don't know what, how you pronounce them. Little yeah. stacks of rocks. Yeah. Just over two miles in and the scenery is still awesome. Hard to beat Utah. These colors and textures were just incredible. Holy smokes. <laughs> that looks like Bryce way over there. You're not gonna be able to see it very well in this. Slightly treacherous. Oh my gosh. Hun, look what I found. It's a really pretty cactus. I think it's a barrel cactus. My mom loves cactus. So this is for you, mom, on Mother's Day. Thinking of you. Down. <laughs> Teresa thinks this looks like soft serve ice cream lumped up. It kind of does. It's that overhang up there. Look how beautiful it is over there. So pretty. It's a 
ways off, but it sure is pretty. Okay, there's another cactus. It's so pretty. And it just really stands out here in the desert. All right, we're a little over four miles in and uh, the hiking trail combines with an off-road trail. So you can drive in here, but you've got to be street legal and it can't be an OHV. They're uh, particular about that and they talked to us when we drove in. Make sure we weren't thinking that. Half a mile a mile. I think we're getting close. Yep. Look at that rock outcropping over there. All right, we're almost to the overlook. And this hike is dedicated to our lifelong friends, Kurt and Kelly. They were here last month and weren't unable to do this hike because of Kurt's sprained ankle. So this is for you guys. Look at this. The convergence overlook. Confluence. Confluence. <laughs> <laughs> Convergence. They're converging. Green River is on the left. I guess that makes sense because it's more green. Colorado River is on the right. And downstream, it's just the Colorado River. All right, we're about three quarters of a mile back to the trailhead. Teresa, Teresa's desperately in need of a hat sponsor. <laughs> I'm trying to cover my neck and my ears. So this is my stylish setup. All right, less than a half a mile to go. Parking lot's over there. But in between here and there, we got to go down, 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 and then back up. Almost back. Safety first. <laughs> you gotta go down backwards. Safety monitor is here. Oh. Uh, shade feels it's good. A nice shady area. <sighs> oh, it feels great in here. So pretty. Over there yet? Almost. My watch says 10.2 miles and it's only supposed to be 10 miles. So <laughs> I think we're almost there. And we ran out of water at mile 9.2. So, whoopsie. Yeah, bring more water. Bring more water. Are we going down now? No, we yeah. can't. Up here. <laughs> the truck's right up here. I thought we were going down again. I was like, no. Almost back. All right, we made it. It's a great hike. Lots of cool, cool stuff to see. And it's actually 10.35 miles and it took us four hours and 25 minutes. Not bad. Oh, ready for some water. Yeah. Well, and one of the neat things about it is we saw a total of seven people today on the trail. And it's uh, a Sunday. So that's uh, pretty awesome for National Park in Utah in May. Awesome trail, though. Highly recommended. All right. Back of the truck. We're going to head to Moab. Um... Longest hike on this uh, cross-country trip, and uh, we desperately needed it. Um, felt like we haven't been uh, hiking long enough distances on this trip. Uh, we've got Mount Whitney coming up in August. It's 22 miles, and we just did 10, and it felt like a lot. So uh, we got to get home and get training because uh, we have a lot of work to do.